So, they run you off up north or you just get homesick? Hey, man. What are you doing here? I'm in town for the summer. Really? I thought you were working for some big law firm up north or something. Gotta pass that bar first. Uh, <laughs> how about you? You know, L.A. kind of got the better of me, so I'm trying to get back on my feet. Hey, you can sit next to that all day long if you want to, but you actually got to crack that rascal open for it to do you Do good. I know you? No. You just look weak. Pastor David, this is Jason, who I was telling you about. How are you? So far, so good. Have you two met already? Something like that. So, is it true that you spent a couple of summers as a youth group intern during college? We really need the help. Right now, it's just me and whoever I can get to volunteer with the kids. We could use another adult to help out with youth. Man, I would, but you know, the church and I don't really mix all that well. Hey, Marcus! Well, come out here and join us. He just sits by himself all the time. You, uh, you mark Stead? I'm Mr. Blake. I'm, I'm Jason. I'm the youth minister for the summer. I was thinking about going for a hike next week. You want to go? You're different from most adults. I feel like I can talk to you. You can. You're old and you cheat. You got a lot of good for you there. Oh, whoa. What's that? What? I'm going to ask you something, and I want you to answer me honestly. You cut yourself? I would like to recommend strongly that we strip Marcus Blayton of this year's church scholarship. Well, it may not make any sense to you. Mr. Blayton has his reasons for wanting a scholarship to go to somebody else. Because he's embarrassed by his son. And since he holds all the purse strings around here, nobody's brave enough to stand up to him. Come on, buddy, answer the door! Marcus! I'm done. I quit. It doesn't matter if I bring in 200 new people for one who needs me. It's hurt. If you're gonna do something for the rest of your life, shouldn't it make you come alive as a person? Kind of the way you seem to come alive when you're fighting for these kids? Yeah, I don't know, man. Did you ever leave here? Oh, I hope not. Really? Uh, yeah, I love it here. Everything I really need is right here. You know, friends, family, church. I couldn't think of a better place to raise a family.